Earl Panel, the hell Harry's got them. I just looked over here. Gee, we have the most beautiful collection Lovely of people ladies. in our now kitchen uh, today. Our kitchen people. They're all from uh, California. They're all dancers. Yeah. Are you on vacation here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you working as well? No. Dancing. And what's the name of your dance. troupe? The Zazzers. The Zazzers? <laughs> Is this a modern dance group? Or? Everything. 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 All right. Are you having a good time in New York? Yes. Are you looking forward to seeing David and Sean Cassidy? Yes. yes. All right, good, because, because here they are, David and Sean Cassidy from Blood Brothers. Hi, David. How are you doing? Have a seat. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys still got it. Yes. You still have do. it. Yeah, well, well, I got his tie, so that's uh, probably <laughs> what did it. It's great to have you here. On Thank the you. Show. It's good to you know, be here. this is the the first time that you've worked together on stage, right? First time we've ever Anything. spoken to each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we uh, we uh, w used to working as solo acts, uh, as you may have heard. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Were you, were you kind of concerned as to new, uh, uh, how this was going to work out? Did you have any uh, trepidation about it? Well, uh, uh, to be honest with you, I, um, when they offered the role of Mickey uh, in Blood Brothers to me about a month ago, I went and saw it, and after I saw it, I thought about calling him, but he was in the middle of doing um, writing and finishing this uh, film for Universal. And I know that he hasn't really been focused on, on acting, mm -hmm. and I thought, I gotta pick up the phone and call him. So I picked up the phone, I said, listen, I'm gonna say something to you, you just have to listen to me. You gotta read this play. I want you to do this play on Broadway with me. And he said, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, no, no, this is Actually, not. Actually, I said I can't. Yeah. I, I really, I couldn't. I, I was on a deadline for two films, and, and uh, he was already set doing, and he was in the middle of rehearsal, and they would have only given me eight days to rehearse, and I just didn't think I'd get my movie done, but I did, and I came here and I saw the show, and I was so knocked out by the show that I just dove in, and haven't had a, a minute to think about it, and here we are. Here we are, the Everly Brothers. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is some story. Here you are playing brothers. Yeah. yeah. And incidentally, in this particular uh, play, these are brothers who are separated at, at birth. Yeah, twins that yeah. are separated Eternal at birth. twins. It, yeah. It's playing in London now for five years. Yeah, it's a giant hit, and it was, you know, it was nominated. They brought the, most of the original uh, West End cast over to open it here for 12 weeks, mm -hmm. and... Um, <clears throat> It, they got nominated for six Tony Awards, including Best uh, Musical. It's so an amazing opportunity. I was uh, talking with my stepfather the other night, and he said, you guys should really just stop and, and think about this, because you're on Broadway together in a show that gets standing ovations every night. Every I night. Mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's just an amazing Savor, opportunity. Yeah. Well, very great. When is it going to happen again? You know, yeah, the you two of you know. in the same field. Yeah. More, than a, more than an acting experience, I think, what I did was when I called him, I said, listen, forget about, you know, what this is going to mean to your career. Think of the think restaurants in New York. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Absolutely. Think of the women you're going to get to. <laughs> and incidentally, Petula Clark plays your mother. Yeah, who's she's wonderful. Yeah. Well, Liz That's Smith gave you such a rave today. I That's mean, nice. uh, yeah. she just said it's a, a good review for us. Uh, uh, <laughs> absolutely, with a spectacular standing ovation. Now, yeah. the ad says 147 performances, 147, 147 standing, standing ovations. It ain't no lie. Boy. And they send the New York Times in to check on that because of truth in advertising. Yeah. So there's is actually that right? somebody in there. Yeah. Well, so you, you get yeah. that audience. So, so we well, pay those people a lot of money to get out there tonight. <laughs> All right, let's let's well, remember a little credibility bit. gap. <laughs> no, no, that's what's going on uh, today. But this was going on a few years ago. Now here's the old Partridge Family album. It's a huge still hit going again. on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just saw it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Here's another album. What do you think when you see that mm. uh, face and that hair and those those yearning, longing eyes? Uh, I didn't get a haircut. I think yeah, really. <laughs> And what do you think when you see oh, this man. looking at us right now? Oh, it's at okay, he was 12 thing. when he took that photo. Right. <laughs> There's no question that Shirley Jones is your mom. Look at the resemblance yeah. in that picture. Yeah, they do look no, a lot like Here she is right here again. And looks here. nothing like me, of course. Oh, now, man. this looks like it was uh, not, well, fairly recent. Had this particular one you, born late? I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. What uh, that sweater, though? How long ago was it? When did you work that out? Uh, that was 1978 or 9. That's what I say, There's about 15 years ago. There's a picture in here that's a little bit older than that, though, oh. I think. Oh, what a face. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the audience brought these by. I thought oh, we'd take a look at them in this a lot. little bit. Thanks. We already looked at People magazine. but. 
But it's uh, so now you're writing and incidentally writing a sequel to one of our favorite movies. Really? What? The Midnight Run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With, with Bobby and Charles Grodin. Well, no. Uh, no, that, no, that was no. The, that was the that first was original. One. Yeah, this is actually Universal's making four uh, Midnight Runs for television, and I just finished writing one of them. It's oh, going into production this fall, I and gotcha. it'll be uh, on the air in uh, in the spring. So they're making a series out of it. Yeah, four movies like the old Mystery Wheel. Well, I think it's a Columbo terrific idea. And McCloud and that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Just love that movie. Yeah. All right, are you guys going to sing for us today? Yes. I don't think so. Huh? Please, uh, please, Cassidy yeah. Booker. Yeah. yeah, they're going to sing. They'll be right back. All right. Now, this is one of the songs from uh, from Blood Brothers. However, it is not a song that you two sing, right? Uh, well, no, Together, not the, in the, the show. show. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this morning we'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to sing it. I'm going to mouth it. <laughs> yeah. But it's a beautiful what, what, song. What is the song? Where, where does it come in? It's called Tell Me It's Not True, and it's actually sung when we're Petula dead. and the whole, co the whole company uh, yeah. sing it at the end of the play. And Over our uh, bodies. Yeah, particularly oh dramatic. Oh, so it's a, it's a light comedy. A much comedy. better moment than this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Joe Baker at the piano and Bob uh, Renino at the bass. Thank you, guys. And uh, here's Thank Sean you. and David Cassidy. and sing this song. Oh, okay. okay. right. David and John Cassidy of Muck Brothers. We'll be right back with Cody and Cody and Nell Gibson in a moment.